thank you for taking out your time and speaking to us, Mr. Bauer. Uh, as far as uh, school swimming is concerned, uh, very important term too. Uh, a lot of sports happens in term two in schools. So uh, what's what's in plans uh, for for schools as far as swimming is concerned this uh, this term? Uh, we're staging all of the events that we normally have in our swimming competition, the annual swimming competition. I think. Uh, Probably what may have affected the um, entries for the competition is the fact that it's quite close to the Coke Games mm -hmm. and it can mean that um, some of the schools would have found it difficult to try and uh, fit in the program in their physical education program um, to cater for both swimming and for athletics. However, some see it as no excuse and they've moved ahead to get their students adequately prepared as a critical event. It's critical swimming that is be taken at school. We're having far too much drowning in this country and it's a skill, a basic skill, that is just as important as some of the skills that are used in rugby, netball and so forth. This skill is a life skill. And so uh, we're very encouraged to know that you've, despite the heavy weighting of other activities in the school's term, we've been able to get the swimming schools to come on board and some of the country schools out there to come as well. And a great opportunity for the children to put their skills. Uh, we have given to schools a qualifying time uh, the students will need to reach that qualifying time, otherwise we'll be there all day with swimmers who are not making it in the proper time at the pool. But those swimmers would have had the opportunity for trials in their school competition. Mm -hmm. And so in that case, we're still getting swimming promoted in schools. To that effect, I must say it's sad to see that some schools are not able to take swimming and for some very good reasons. Some are too far away from the pool. Some find it difficult because they cannot incorporate an added cost for the bus to take them to the pool, the entry is to the pool. We don't have enough pools. Do all of our district have public pools to cater for this? But we have fields that are readily available, and understandably, because there's no major cost as it would be to have a swimming pool. But having said that, we have rivers, we have the sea, and so swimming could be taken on board as well. So we find that encouraging students to participate in the National School Swimming is also to promote the skills of swimming, sports support the skill of true sportsmanship and learning how to win, win gracefully and how to lose and to lose gracefully and those skills will go with the children for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of their training program they set their goals so it teaches them to achieve the goals they've set for before they come on board onto pool deck to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we had 42 schools that participated. To date we have 22 schools but the entries will close tomorrow mm -hmm. and I think a lot of the schools are anticipating putting in their entries by tomorrow. Very encouraging to hear about the um, pre preparations that are being made We've been down to Sports Council to ensure that the pool is in um, uh, adequate condition to um, host the Games. And the Fiji Sports Council, I must admit, have been very cooperative. And we look forward to having a great event where there's fair play and an equal opportunity for all who will be coming to participate. Mm. As seen in past years, uh I mean, I'm just having a look at the medal tally as well. Schools which have pools near them uh, do quite well, which is quite obvious. Uh, as much as we would uh, want students to uh, practice and train in rivers and uh, in seas, how important do you think is it to every, for every district to have a proper pool of, of the standard size uh, so that swimming could progress in the, in the coming years? I think it's, it's critical. Mm. It's an essential need for the districts to have swimming pools. 
Um, do you know that a lot of children who have learning difficulties, when I say learning difficulties, they have difficulty in getting uh, launched into reading mm. and they fall through the cracks and they have social issues in their life later on. And the same will go for those children who have difficulty in mathematics. Swimming facilitates the learning process. They're able, we've had, I've uh, taken children having difficulty with their reading and we've had swimming sessions and they start to eventually flow with their reading. They feel more confident in themselves. They feel that they can learn to wait their turn when it's time for them to participate and learn to share. All of that is so critical. Mm -hmm. But, true to the matter, the truth of the matter is, why are we having more and more of our students drowning in this country? Hmm. 2031 Pacific Games, Fiji has beat it for that. Uh, kids taking part now towards the end of primary school and secondary school, they'll, if Fiji does host it, Fiji do host it, we will have most of these athletes participating in those games. So you guess your, your development stage for those games would start uh, sometimes this year or next year? Oh yes, definitely. Mm. We have to start now rather than later. Mm. Um, there's a lot of effort that needs to be put in. And of course, uh, with that comes competition, so we've got to have competitions as well. Mm. Um, I'm afraid we only do the national school, so we do the one time a year event. But that shouldn't be the case. There should be cases where they can have inter-school competition, so that they c the momentum is kept going and uh, throughout the year. Um, it doesn't have to be a huge number of times, it could be at least three times a year mm. and it will improve the interest in um, swimming. And as far as uh, awareness is concerned, I mean of course being Fiji, a lot of uh, interest in rugby and netball and soccer obviously, but uh, we've, ha we've had swimmers represent Fiji at the Commonwealth Games and at the Olympics as well. So how how's awareness campaigns going on in, in, as far as uh, a school level is concerned? Well, if you go to schools, you f we'll try and work out how many schools have physical education programs. A fully-fledged education program, physical education program, should have rugby, netball, swimming, and the other sports. Why is it only heavily weighted, for example, on netball and rugby mm. and soccer? It's not fair on the rest of the children who are quite as who are equally skilled, but in another field of play. And it's about time that we get physical education teachers taking full education, uh, physical education programs, primary school in particular, mm. and moving it up from there. Mm. It can't be just athletics from here till the end of the term. Mm. Athletics has to be mixed with some of the other sports and skills. Not all of the children will be there in term one just because it's cup games that they're going to all be participating in athletics. Mm. But the total focus goes to athletics. And so what happens to the netballer? What happens to the soccer player? What happens to the swimmer? Mm. And so we need to get it straightened out to make sure that there's an equal opportunity for all children, mm. both at the primary and secondary school level. Mm. Yeah, uh, is, the, is Fiji Swimming working in collaboration with uh, the Minister of Education for this? So that this is... Well, we have made mention of it several times mm. to the Ministry of Education. Um, we've always had the feedback that, well, the cost is, is, is a big issue and parents will say that again and again. Um, I've taught in the country and there's a river and I took physical education every week and the season for swimming, when I had swimming on my agenda, I took them to the river. The children who couldn't swim, swam. I went down the railway river to take it with some of the local schools down the railway river and some of the students who couldn't swim or were fearful of water were soon swimming. Mm. Otherwise, left with no skill at all. Mm. So there's every opportunity and I think there's too many excuses and too much where they're going to just remain in their comfort zone mm. and just take the sports that everybody else knows. Mm.
this will only I guess stop uh, who knows uh, no someone sitting in the classroom there could be a future Olympian but things like this uh, restrictions as such we're assuming is not taken taken in schools I mean that could just dishearten that person and he may, he or she may never do swimming again yeah will never get the opportunity mm. the teachers never given them the exposure never given them the privilege to have that opportunity to, to develop the, the strokes in swimming or to be able to swim Mm. just swim elementary, get some of the swimming skills in place. And also it's a huge, huge benefit to children academically. Mm. The Pacific Games uh, last year, a good sign was the 14-year-old girl from New Zealand. She was one of the best performers uh, from Team PG. Uh, that, I, I guess that's a sign that we could have more of, of athletes like that in future? Oh yes. Mm. We can't be just looking at those who are senior now. We've got to start from down in the lower grades and move them up. And we've got to start today rather than tomorrow. Mm. And I'm afraid we're behind time as it is. Mm. As far as this year's competition is concerned, some of the big schools who have already entered or maybe some big schools who have not shown interest this year and have confirmed that they will not participate? Yes, the big, some of the big schools have entered. It's been encouraging, mm. um, albeit there's so many other things that have been happening in the country. But we've been grateful for those schools who have participated. And I must say, I give full marks to those who are working in the background and are paid for it, who are organizing all of this outside of their normal school activities mm. and administration work, mm. because they can see the importance of having this facility available to our schools. Mm. Any any new schools coming in for the first time? Or? Um, not, to not to the best of my knowledge. Uh, most of the schools that have been coming, and a lot of new ones came along over the year, and they were so grateful that they came. Mm. Albeit some of them didn't win a medal, some of them won gold without realizing the ability and it's just been so encouraging but it's a great family event mm. and I encourage the public to come and support those who will be our leaders tomorrow not only our swimmers of tomorrow but our leaders of tomorrow mm. anything else you'd want to add on Mr. Bauer before we end this show? shoot uh, maybe in terms of sponsorship for the event and I know some of the challenges that the organizers are facing Yes, one of our big challenges, of course, is the fact that we find it so difficult to get a sponsorship. Uh, we had sponsorship, for example, in athletics, and that sponsorship, a huge sponsorship, which allowed us to work with Vanuatu and the whole, right out to Rotuma and so forth, that all went to rugby, and they wouldn't look at us. So we lost that total, and so we're scraping the the bottom of the pot or the bottom of the barrel as it were and we just do the best we can with the funds that we have. Hmm. That's it, anything else you want to add on? Thank you very much for your time Mr. Bauer.